Good morning, my fellow VP blockers. You got your guy Larry here. Uh, I'm back. I'm going to try to make videos on Mondays and Fridays. That way we can talk about what happened over the weekend and we can talk about what happened during the week. So a lot of people are not subscribing to the channel, but you're watching the videos. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up trying to grow a small channel. I don't have a bunch of illusions and you know stuff in the background that's going to try to distract you from the truth. No, I'm hitting you with straight gems and facts. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll put my link in the description. Watch the whole video. Watch the whole video through. Take your time. If you're on a long drive, if you're on the toilet, if you're bored in bed, if you're bored at home, if you want to you know, take some time away from the family, go in the garage and just listen to the video. I'm dropping facts. Now, a lot of volatility on the crypto world. Don't mean to say it, but I told you so. At one point on Saturday, it dropped 17%. Bitcoin dropped 17%. 17% with a $1 trillion market cap is $170 billion. People don't understand, that's not just your average citizens buying Bitcoin. That's your huge investment banks, your huge investment corporations. There's companies buying Bitcoin. They're moving the crypto markets. When they move in, okay, you want to know why they took profits? They'll take profits to balance their sheets. That's what they're doing. It's the end of the year. When Bitcoin grew so much, people think that's everyone buying Bitcoin and everyone investing. Yeah, there's some people buying a, a Bitcoin. But how many people can like honestly say they can afford a whole Bitcoin? People came in, People couldn't pay their bills. And we had to give stimulus checks out. And we had to give $1,200 bailout checks, but people can afford $45,000 and $60,000 for one Bitcoin? No, that's not happening. You have huge hedge funds coming in, buying tons of Bitcoin. Elon Musk is buying crypto. They move the markets, these whales. And you know what they do? They get out and they leave you holding the bag. When markets crash and you at least own dividend-paying stocks, when, you're, when your dividends get reinvested, they're buying more stocks cheaper, okay? They're giving you money. They're giving you, you know, 50 cents, 15 cents, a dollar. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but they're giving you something. They have to make a profit to be able to give you dividends. Unless it's a growth company and a lot of these companies have been in business for 30, 40 years and they don't give dividends, I wouldn't invest in that company. That means they are not confident enough to know that they're making substantial revenue to be able to give back to your shareholders. I only invest in single stocks that are dividend payers. That's it. And the only growth stocks I have are the ones that pay dividends. Your Microsoft, your Apple. I personally don't invest in any company in single stocks that does not pay a dividend. Because how do I know you're growing the company? You could tell me anything. I would never invest in something like Tesla because who is somebody like Elon Musk to, to take my money that I invest in your company to invest in Bitcoin? I invested in your company because I want you to make better batteries, better cars. Who are you to take money of mine and throw it into Bitcoin? So that's how you do the bait and switch when you start. Now say he... Now, say he puts profits up there. You don't know if that's profits from Tesla or you don't know if that's profits from Bitcoin because he's putting it all together. You really don't know the true evaluation of Tesla. And a lot of people looked over that. Oh, he's a genius for doing that. No, that's very selfish and inconsiderate of him doing that. You, I would have a meeting and invite every shareholder there who owns stock and say, listen, should I do this into Bitcoin or should I not? When you're investing in crypto, here's what's happening. There's thousands of cryptos out there. You got people making crypto, and here's what they do. They make crypto, you buy their crypto, they sell out of their position, or they convert their crypto into Bitcoin, and then they cash out of Bitcoin because they know Bitcoin is actually worth something. Okay? It's not really worth something. It's worth more than their crypto. That's what a lot of people are doing. They're mining cryptos, they're making up cryptos, and then they're converting it into Bitcoin and Ethereum, letting it rock for like two or three weeks, and then they're selling out because they know their crypto is worthless. And a lot of people don't even get this. And hold on. Seventeen percent. 
it dropped on Saturday. Now, how do you know it's going to come back up? Because it's came back up in the past? You don't know. There's some people that invested in speculative stocks, okay, because they thought it was going to get back to what it was during past events. And some stocks haven't even got back to what they were during the dot-com bubble. Cisco technology still isn't back to what it was selling at before the dot-com crash. People, you're giving your money, you're, you're giving it away. You're saying, here, take my hard-earned money and we're going to buy code in Bitcoin, it's only worth what the next person's going to pay. I've been saying that in past videos. What happens when there's no more people to buy it? You're left holding the bag. If you truly don't understand crypto, never mind all that, oh, it's a blockchain, it's you can send money faster and all that. Stop. Stop all that crap. It's a money grab and people need to be honest with themselves. If you're going to work every day for money and a paycheck and you use a debit card and you're going to the ATM machine or as the older people like to say, the Mac machine, if you're going, if you're getting debit cash back and all that stuff, you got people investing in credit cards. Here's the thing. They use credit cards for the points and cash back, but they invest in Bitcoin too. So which one is it? If you're using a credit card trying to get cash back and all these rewards and all these free perks and miles, why are you investing in Bitcoin? One has nothing to do with the other. If you're investing in Bitcoin, it's because you really think the dollar is going to crash and crypto is going to take over. But why are you using credit cards for points and miles if that's going to crash too? So over the weekend, Bitcoin, crypto took a nosedive. Kraft Heinz, they pay a dividend. I think it's like 51 cents. If the market crashes with Kraft Heinz, people are always going to use ketchup. Come on. People are always going to use ketchup. They're always going to use ketchup. Somebody will always like ketchup. You'll always have a market for it. You can use it. They pay you a dividend. All right? And, and they make a ton of other stuff. What I'm saying, and I don't want to keep rambling on this, is when you're throwing your money out the window... And you're investing in a token or a coin or whatever. You're holding on to it for 75 days. That's the typical whole time of Bitcoin. That's not a money grab. That's not investing. Stop saying investing. Or people say, I'm dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. No, you're not. If people were, it would have a longer hold time. The, the, the proof is in the pudding right there. It doesn't say the whole time is one year or two years or three years. But people like to say, yeah, but Bitcoin's... Uh, but, uh, but people have been saying it's going to crash since 2011 or 2010. How come it doesn't say people, the typical hold time is 10 years or five years? How come it says typical hold time, 75 days? So let that sink in. Keep investing in crypto if you want. But I've been making more and more videos if I told you so. So no regrets. Email will be in the description. Have a great week. We'll talk about the markets and we'll talk about what happened this week on Friday. I'll make a video on Friday or Saturday and we can recap the week. Go after it. Get it. Be safe out there. No regrets.